If you've hit a creative wall, today's episode is just for you. We're exploring some of the best psychological tips to kickstart your creativity and get those ideas flowing again. Don't miss out on these game-changing tricks. 1. Understanding your creative process. Self-awareness is your biggest ally here. Knowing when and where you're most creative is a game-changer. This isn't just about finding the right time or space. It's about syncing your creative efforts with your natural productivity peaks. Start by mapping out your day. Identify times when you feel most energetic and inspired. For some, it's the quiet hours of the early morning. Others might find that their creative juices flow better in the bustling mid-afternoon or the serene late-night hours. Recognize these patterns. They're your secret weapon. Now, consider your environment. Where do you find yourself most productive? Is it a quiet, secluded corner of your home? A coffee shop buzzing with life? Or perhaps a park bench under a tree? The spaces we occupy can dramatically influence our creative output. Here's a practical step to take. Create a creativity journal. Use it daily to note what you're working on, the time, the setting, and how productive you felt. Over time, this journal will reveal powerful patterns about what enhances your creativity and what stifles it. Maybe you'll notice you write more freely when you're at that corner cafe on Tuesday mornings or that brainstorming is more fruitful during late night sessions. Armed with this knowledge, you can tailor your creative schedule to fit your natural rhythms and optimal settings, breaking through those pesky creative blocks with greater ease. 2. The role of environment in fostering creativity. Both your physical and social surroundings play a critical role in how creatively you think and produce work. First, let's talk about the physical space. The layout, noise levels, and even the colors around you can either spur your imagination or stifle it. To make your workspace a bastion of creativity, start by decluttering. A tidy space clears the mind. Next, enhance your area with items that inspire you. These could be artworks that stimulate visual thinking or plants that bring a bit of nature indoors, which studies show can boost creativity and reduce stress. Lighting is another critical factor. Natural light is best for most creative work, so set up your workspace where you can benefit from plenty of sunlight. However, if natural light is scarce, choose full-spectrum light bulbs that mimic daylight. Now, consider the social environment. Interaction with others can spark ideas and inspire new perspectives. If possible, arrange regular brainstorming sessions with colleagues or friends. These sessions can be done in person or even remotely via video calls. An example of creating an ideal environment could be a writer's nook with a view of the garden, incorporating greenery inside, and artworks depicting expansive, open landscapes. These elements not only break the monotony, but also subconsciously connect you to wide-open spaces that encourage mental exploration. By thoughtfully arranging both your physical and social environments, you create a fertile ground for creativity to flourish. 3. Cognitive Behavioral Techniques Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, is based on the idea that our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors are interconnected, and that changing negative thoughts and behaviors can lead to positive changes in our emotions and creative outputs. One powerful CBT technique is to reframe creative blocks as opportunities. This means shifting your perspective to see a block not as a barrier, but as a chance to learn something new or try a different approach. This shift in thinking opens up your mind to new possibilities and reduces the anxiety and frustration that blocks often bring. For instance, use thought records to actively challenge and change unhelpful beliefs about your creative abilities. A thought record is a tool where you write down negative thoughts that come when facing a creative block and then critically evaluate these thoughts to assess their validity. This helps you develop more balanced and constructive thoughts in their place. Let's say you're stuck on a project and start thinking, I'm not creative enough to solve this. On your thought record, you would counter this by listing evidence that disproves this belief, such as recalling times when you have been creative and successful in similar situations. This practice encourages a healthier thought pattern and reinstates your creative confidence. By regularly practicing these CBT techniques, you can significantly diminish the impact of negative thoughts on your creativity and maintain a steady flow of innovative ideas. Let's turn those creative hurdles into stepping stones. I hope you're finding these tips useful so far. If you are, could you show some love? A quick like, a comment, or even a subscribe really helps out. Thank you. 4. The Pomodoro Technique and Structured Breaks This method is fantastic for managing both your time and mental energy, which are crucial for sustained creative work. The Pomodoro Technique involves dividing your work into focused intervals, traditionally 25 minutes in length, separated by shorter breaks, typically 5 minutes. This rhythm helps maintain high levels of creativity without allowing burnout. Each interval is called a pomodoro, 
after the tomato-shaped kitchen timer that Francesco Cirillo used as a university student. Here's how to integrate this into your creative routine. Set a timer for 25 minutes and dedicate this time solely to your task. Avoid all distractions. This means no emails, no phone, no social media. When the timer goes off, stop working and take a five-minute break. This short pause helps your brain to reset, giving you a fresh burst of energy when you start the next Pomodoro. During these breaks, engage in activities that are not mentally taxing. You might meditate, doodle, or engage in a quick physical activity like stretching or walking. These activities help to clear your mind and reduce the fatigue associated with creative work. Implementing the Pomodoro technique ensures that you're working with your cognitive flow, not against it. It allows you to leverage natural rhythms of concentration and rest, maximizing creativity and efficiency. Give it a try, and you might find that it transforms your approach to creative projects, making you more productive while keeping your mind fresh and energized. 5. Psychological Flexibility and Creative Adaptability Psychological flexibility refers to your ability to adapt your behaviors and thoughts based on the present situation, fully aware of your thoughts and feelings without being overly fixed on them. This flexibility allows you to overcome challenges and think outside the box creatively. Why is this important for creativity? Because being psychologically flexible helps you to navigate through uncertainty and change, essential components of the creative process. When you're able to let go of the need for control and perfection, you open up to new experiences and ideas. To enhance your psychological flexibility, start with mindfulness exercises. Mindfulness involves being fully present and engaged with whatever you're doing, free from distraction or judgment. This practice not only reduces stress, but also improves your mental agility, allowing you to better handle creative challenges. For example, try mindfulness meditation. Spend a few minutes each day sitting quietly, focusing on your breath and observing your thoughts and sensations without attachment. This helps cultivate an open and accepting mind state, which is crucial for psychological flexibility. Another strategy is to embrace uncertainty. Instead of fearing the unknown, View it as a space of potential creative breakthroughs. Challenge yourself to step out of your comfort zone regularly, whether in your personal life or in your creative projects. By building your psychological flexibility, you'll not only enhance your creativity, but also develop resilience and a greater capacity to deal with new and unexpected situations. Let's train our minds to be as flexible as they need to be to unleash our full creative potential. 6. The Role of Routine and Novelty Establishing a routine can provide the discipline needed to push forward, while integrating novelty sparks inspiration and prevents creative stagnation. Routines help set expectations and structure your time, making it easier to manage tasks and deadlines. However, too much routine might lead you into a creative rut. That's where novelty comes in. New experiences and environments can dramatically shift your perspective and ignite your imagination. To inject some novelty into your creative life, Consider setting up weekly creative dates. These are pre-planned times when you engage with something entirely new or different. It could be as simple as visiting a new coffee shop to write, trying out a painting class, or walking in a part of town you've never explored before. These new stimuli can provide fresh ideas and insights that feed back into your creative projects. For example, dedicate one afternoon each week to explore a new hobby or setting. Attend a workshop on ceramics or join a local photography walk. Each new activity brings with it unknown challenges and the chance to see the world from a fresh angle, which can translate into innovative thinking and output. By regularly stepping out of your comfort zone and introducing new experiences, you not only break the monotony of routine, but also foster a creative environment that's ripe for innovation. Now for a powerful bonus tip, the use of metaphorical thinking to skyrocket your problem-solving and idea generation capabilities. Metaphorical thinking involves making connections between seemingly unrelated concepts or visualizing problems as physical objects. This approach can open up new pathways for understanding and creativity. When you engage in metaphorical thinking, you reframe the issue at hand in a way that's not only unique, but also significantly broader in scope. This allows for the integration of new and diverse ideas that standard logical thinking might miss. For example, if you're a writer and struggling with a character's development, Try to think of your issues with the character as actual people you know. Ask yourself, how would I resolve a conflict with this person? This technique helps you step out of conventional solutions and explore more nuanced, human-driven interactions, potentially enriching your character's portrayal. To develop this skill, start by regularly challenging yourself to draw parallels between your current project and completely different fields. Suppose you're designing a marketing strategy. 
You could think about it like a video game. What strategies would a player use to win this game? What moves are most effective and why? Another technique is to physically map out problems. Write down the problem and use drawings or diagrams to explore potential solutions. Visualizing problems as physical objects can simplify complex issues and make solutions more apparent. Integrating metaphorical thinking into your creative process isn't just about generating ideas. It's about revolutionizing the way you see and think about every challenge. Let's harness this skill to unlock a new level of creativity in your work. Up next, explore the role of intuition in decision-making. Or, learn about why you suffer from imposter syndrome. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.